Hello everyone, it's Ashley with Amare, owner and founder of Amare Healing Arts, Plastic Surgery Recovery Center, and Holistic Clinic, specializing in manual lymphatic drainage. We have two locations in New Jersey, Highland Park and Elizabeth, and I also offer virtual consults. If you're not in New Jersey but still need help with your recovery, you can give the office a call at 732-841-0142 to set up your sessions. We have our post-op shop where we offer post-op supplies like lipo foams and BBL pillows and I teach you guys how to use those products with the videos that we have on our product page. That's amarepostopshop.com. We also have our online courses where I teach you guys what massages you would need after plastic surgery, when to get your massages, who to get them from, what the lymphatic system is, what lymphatic massages actually are, and all the research that you would need on your post-op massages and finding a lymphatic therapist. All of these links are in our bio as well as in the description boxes, so you guys can go and check that out. I will see you guys soon. Ashley with Amare. Bye! One more time. I don't know why this thing keeps crashing on me, but... We're talking about lipocavitation and lipocavitation massage and cavitation massage and how it's nothing to do with post-surgery. So, lipo, the prefix lipo or the word lipo means fat. Lipo literally means fat. Liposuction, li first of all, lipo is not short for liposuction. It's just the word lipo, which just means fat. That's it. Um, liposuction means the suctioning out of fat surgically, okay? That's liposuction. Lipo cavitation. Cavitation means like creating a space in the body or creating a hole. That's what cavitation does. So if we put it together, it's fat making a hole massage. That's what it means. Basically, non-scientific terms, it's a type of massage technique or that uses like a machine or ultrasound or any kind of things like that that busts the fat cells open in your body, destroys them, creates space for your lymph system to then come in filter out that fat and get it out of your body. Now, I encourage you guys, go look up the hashtag lipocavitation. It has nothing to do with post-surgery. If you are not interested in getting liposuction surgery, lipocavitation may be a good thing for you because it helps to kind of diminish and dissolve and get rid of and deteriorate the fat cells so your body can take them, absorb them, put them back into your lymph system and pee them out. That's how that works. It is not for fibrosis. I'm gonna say this again. It is not for post-surgery. It is not the massage that you need after surgery. It is not for fibrosis. Please stop going and getting eight, 10, 12 sessions of lipocavitation massage, coming back to me and saying, oh, well, I already did 10 sessions, so I only need a couple more. No, you did not do 10 sessions of post-op, MLD, Vodder style, hands-on, gentle, true manual lymphatic drainage. You did 10 things of cavitation massage, which, will make you more swollen. Why? Because you have a fresh cut. We're not gonna put heat and suction and pressure and rubbing and friction on that fresh cut. We're not doing that, right? If I took your hand, cut it open with a knife, gave you stitches, you wouldn't want anybody touching that or doing anything to it for at least a good three weeks after until your stitches heal. Stop doing lipocavitation massage after surgery. That is not for you. It's not at any point in your healing process good at all even if you have fibrosis. Now, let me explain this to you guys because you guys think of fibrosis and you have no idea what it is. It's friggin' painful. Fibrosis is your tissue becoming hard and thick and it's painful. It's painful to your skin, it's painful to the touch, it's painful deep underneath, it pulls, it feels like, it feels like you constantly wanna stretch but can't get a good stretch. That's a mild end of it. The extreme end of it is it's sticking out of your body and it's a huge hard patch. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look at our before and afters. There are tons of people with fibrosis that look misshapen, that look all kinds of crazy. That's fibrosis. You should not be doing wood therapy or pressure or rubbing or, ouch guys, you're going to damage your skin. You're gonna damage the connective tissue. You're gonna make more fibrosis. You're gonna piss your body off. Stop. The only massage you should be doing post-op is gentle, true, hands-on manual lymphatic drainage with no lotions, mediums, oils, rollers, nothing like that at all. Just the gentle, nice, easy, soft, pumping motion of manual lymphatic drainage all over the body, moving the skin, and that's it. Now, working on fibrosis, you can do lymphatic drainage, gentle MLD over fibrosis, but it's only gonna get rid of water. It's not gonna break down your fibrosis. There are other things that we use, like specific foams. Now, not all foams are created equal. 
don't go getting memory foam or the foam with the sticky tape or that like the thing that I've been seeing a lot lately is that fabric it's like one big round thing and it's a piece of fabric with foam in it guys that's just a piece of cloth that's not foam that's not gonna work on your fibrosis at all so that's a side note, but lipocavitation. So what it is is they take it on a normal human being, and I encourage you guys, go look up the hashtag lipocavitation massage. You will see amazing results from people who didn't have surgery, people who were just normal with regular fat, who didn't have surgery. That's not a thing, guys. Do not go doing this after surgery. It is not good for your body. And although it may not be painful or it may be painful, it's going to cause more problems, whether you realize it or not. Do not do this after surgery. I'm going to say it one more time. Stop doing lipocavitation after surgery. It is not liposuction massage. It is not post-op massage. It is lipocavitation. Just because it has the word lipo in it does not mean it's good for after surgery. Stop it. Okay, so they take this suction thingy. It goes on there. It uses sometimes vibration, sometimes radio frequency, sometimes ultrasound, sometimes heat, depending on the type of machine. And they move it back and forth. And it helps blast apart your fat cells. And then it becomes like squishy. Your skin is like squishy. Um, and then your body absorbs the little bit of swelling and the fat cells and pees it out and you get nice and slim, right? That's the thought process. So how do we maximize these sessions? We're not talking about surgery, okay? You didn't have surgery, but you're going to get lipocavitation massage done. Equate lipocavitation massage to cool sculpting. It's the same thing. It works not not the same way, but it's it's achieving the same end result, the same goal. So treat it like cool sculpting. And I have a whole video on cool sculpting. If you haven't seen it or you don't know what I'm talking about, go back through our IGTV library and take a look. Um, but cool sculpting is kind of the same thing. It's destroying the fat cells for your body to reabsorb them so you can get rid of them. Now, taking care of your body after lipocavitation. Do you need a compression garment? Should you wear foams? Should you do any of these things? Yeah, I would treat it the same way. I would, because again, you can still, even if you've never had surgery, get fibrosis from lipocavitation massage. Why? Because we are blasting apart cells in your body. There is a little bit of swelling. You may get some hardness. Now, you have to go to an expert, a lipocavitation massage person who does body contouring. Now again, guys, body contouring, not for post-surgery. Guys, you had surgery. You need to treat your body like it's been through like a knee surgery or a hip surgery or something like that. It's the same thing. Granted, it is for an aesthetic result, but please, it's still a medical surgery. Do it the same way. So again, with this whole body contouring thing and all of that that people are doing, these waist trainers and the wood therapy and the cavitation and the cool sculpting, you can still maximize your results by wearing a proper fitted garment. You can still maximize your results by wearing the foam to help assist your lymphatic system to get rid of the debris and to get rid of all of those dead cells and that dead fat. So those things still help and still maximize everything that you're doing, all of your efforts. But lipo cavitation massage does not mean lipo suction post-surgery massage. Very different. You need lymphatic drainage, manual lymphatic drainage, MLD, not LDM, lymph drainage massage. We have tons of videos on that, especially the rant that I had last week for like 30 minutes about it. You need manual lymphatic drainage massage after surgery, not lipocavitation. That is not what you need. But Lipocavitation is good if you haven't had surgery. Lipocavitation does work, like I said, look up the hashtag. It really does work on getting rid of the excess fat that you've got going on. So like if you have, I don't know if I can, if you have like a this going on back here, I mean, I really don't, but if you have like a this going on back here, you can get lipocavitation for this and it'll help kind of smooth out the area. That's what that's for. It's not for post-surgery. It's not going to help. It's going to add heat to your, your whole area, any of your incisions. It's gonna swell you up. It's gonna cause fibrosis or you're not gonna see any difference at all. It's not gonna change because you're just gonna stay swollen because it's not getting the fluid out of you. It's not pumping motions. It's not gently pumping your skin or your lymph system to get your body to reabsorb that fluid. All it is is a suction cup thingy rolling over your body, breaking up fat cells. But guess what guys, you had lipo. Your fat cells are gone. So what is it working on then? What is it doing? Well, it's not. It's blasting the tissue that's trying to heal, which is hindering your healing process. That's how that works. So you had all the fat taken out of you. You have no more fat. You have no more lipo in there because it's been suctioned, liposuction away. So lipocavitation isn't going to work for that. It's going to treat or treat. It's going to work on the broken tissue. That's that giant cut 
that is trying to heal and it's going to mess with the process. So one last time, guys, lipocavitation massage. It is not a bad thing. It has a specific purpose and a specific use, but it is not for post-surgery. It does not mean liposuction massage. That is not what that means. It is lipocavitation. It is totally different. I will add the hashtag um, and you guys can, you know, take a look at that. That's the end of my video. Nice and short and sweet this week. I will see you guys next week. Bye.